I would like to wish all my female colleagues on the occasion of International Women's Day. At the same time, I want to congratulate the organizers for having women achievers as a theme for this year's celebrations. Since I have taken admission to Ayurved, I am always confused. Whenever I used to read Bruhatrai and Laghutrai, it is full of all male authors, male acharyas. Where is the female in Ayurveda? We know the first lady Indian doctor, but how many of us know who is the first lady Indian Vaidya? When it comes to the textbooks, which are quite recent, except few exceptional cases, there are uh, the contribution of female Vaidyas is seen very little. In last few decades, the number of female students is increasing in Ayurveda who are taking admission to Ayurveda. But when it comes to researchers, policy makers or higher posts, this proportion is not seen. Where do these girls go then? On the occasion of this International Women's Day, I wish to urge all my female colleagues, the students, the new aspiring students that don't, just don't take BMS as a degree course or a, a mean of having some degree in a medical sciences. Just don't give up on your career after uh, doing BMS. There will be obstacles, there will be hurdles, but I am sure that we can certainly overcome those hurdles. Just two, two days back, I watched uh, the movie Mission Mangal, which is one of my favorite movie. And uh, you, all of you must have seen it. And it, there, the, in that team of Mission Mangal, of the seven scientists, there or eight scientists, there were five females. Can we have something like Mission Ayurveda, where we, the females in Ayurveda, can contribute concretely, dedicatedly for our science? I think on today's day, we all can pledge for this. Thank you, thank you very much.